brilliant thought experiments. Science cannot be called science without doing experiments. However, not all scientists are interested in doing experiments. Some are interested in understanding the logic behind experimentally observed facts. Such people amuse themselves by doing experiments in their heads. Such experiments are called thought experiments. It is a logical statement built on one's current knowledge and is used to infer new conclusions from the given logical setup. Such thought experiments have proved very insightful in understanding physics. What happens when you throw a heavier object and a lighter object from the top of a tall tower? Which one touches the ground first? According to the great Aristotle, it's obvious. The heavier object will hit the ground first. But Galileo said, let me indulge you in a thought experiment. Suppose you have an object having weight 5 kg and another object of weight 10 kg. You tie them together with a string. According to Aristotle, the heavier object will fall faster than the lighter one. But this time, the string attached will pull the heavier object as it falls. So the system of 5 kg and 10 kg will fall at a slower rate than 10 kg alone. However, since the system is tied, its total weight is 5 kg plus 10 kg equals 15 kg. As 15 kg is more massive than 10 kg, so this system will fall faster than the 10 kg alone. But this is a contradiction to our previous conclusion. The only way our two statements are consistent is when both masses, lighter and heavier, fall at the same rate. Both will hit the ground at the same time. Even if one object is a feather and another object is a stone, both will hit the ground at the same time. If you want yourself to indulge in more such experiments, stay tuned and never stop questioning.